Media Group Station. ESPN Radio Sports Center. I'm Kevin Winter. Croatia is on the World Cup final for the first time in their brief country's history. The second smallest nation ever to make the World Cup final. Croatia rallied from down 1-0 against England. They got a goal in the late in the second half, and then they scored the game winner in extra time, the 109th minute. Croatia on to their first ever major tournament final. They will take on France coming up on Sunday afternoon in Moscow. The winner captures the 2018 FIFA World Cup at Wimbledon today. What a day it was. Rafael Nadal and Juan Martín del Potro went four hours and 48 minutes in a brilliant five-setter. It was won by Nadal. He's out of the semifinals. So, too, is Kevin Anderson of South Africa. He faced a third set match point to the world number one, Roger Federer. Federer couldn't get it done. And then he lost the match, 7-5, 6-4, 13-11 the rest of the way. Kevin Anderson of South Africa is on to the semifinals. He'll take on American John Isner, who is in his first ever Grand Slam semifinal. Novak Djokovic, Nadal, Anderson, Isner. Friday semifinals at Wimbledon. Your women's semifinals start tomorrow, beginning at 8 a.m. Eastern time on ESPN Television. Baseball tonight, final start before the All-Star break for Boston's Chris Sale. Red Sox have staked him to a 1-0 lead. Hey, Sonny Gray hasn't given up a run yet for the Yankees. The Yanks lead in Baltimore by a count of 1-0. Milwaukee leading in Miami. 2-0 Braves and the Blue Jays are just underway. Some of the biggest bats in Major League Baseball go head-to-head at Nationals Park in Washington, D.C. Coverage of the 2018 Home Run Derby begins Monday at 8 Eastern on ESPN Radio and on ESPN. Presented by T-Mobile. Austin 316 says I just whipped your... Give me a hell yeah! Hard-hitting. What? Compelling interviews. What? Spot on predictions. What? Statistical analysis. What? Huh? What? Okay, so they're none of that. But definitely laying the audio smackdown. It's Wrestling Wednesday on the Kevin Sutton Show. All right, all right, you know what time it is, baby. You know what time it is, baby. I got my whitey tighties on, flip flops, tank tops, ready to go. About to jump off the top row. Let them know it's Wrestling Wednesdays. Are you ready for flip flop wearing, changing vote giving, two time running? <laughs> go watch wearing, pinky blinging, blinging, limousine riding, skydiving, wakeboarding on the flooring. Come on, baby. It's Wrestling Wednesdays. That's right. Ain't nothing but that. Ain't nothing but that dead truth, boy. You can ask the judge about it, and he's going to tell you the same thing. He recommends you commit yourself to every Wednesday for the rest of your life mm-hmm. for Wrestling Wednesdays. Mm. You're convicted. Good. Dig it with it. Dig it with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, doggy. And we want to remind our listeners the Kevin Sutton Show is brad- proudly brought to you by Cruz and Pascara, personal injury attorneys. That's right. Have you been in a car accident, slip and fall? Cruz and Pascara, your full service law firm. Office is downtown Orlando, 407 841 If you say the passcode, yeah. Yeah. you get the VIP treatment. But no, really, at Cruz and Pascara, you're not just a client, you're family. And we know this firsthand. Cruz and Pascara, your I for lawyers. And guys, don't forget it's to download the podcast. The boss actually says, "Man, <laughs> <laughs> it's great." I, I don't know. Is that good? That like, yes. it caught on that they say it at the office, or yeah, that's great. Yeah. they were complete morons. <laughs> but, uh, no such thing as bad publicity. One of the both, two. Both. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. All right, all right. I got in the studios with me, my man, Doctor Phil. Okay. Today is Wednesday, baby. My words of wisdom for you all are that. You give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. But if you give a man a pen, he'll probably draw a wang. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? What just Bruh. happened? Oh, yes. You want to start over? You want- <laughs> no, it's, it's true. Get what? to say those things when you turn 30. Yeah. 31. 31. Oh, 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 extra salt. Extra salt. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
And then I got my girl Maya with the latest point of view. Okay, yep. Having a good time. Uh, his name, name is John Cena. Cena. Oh, you can't see me. My time is now. Oh, oh. Go ahead, John. Actually, I see you. Um, is, it's all a part of your imagination. Myra, somebody, somebody photoshopped me. all of uh, Neymar's flops with, with John Cena. Like, doing oh, stuff. I was like, no, no wonder we couldn't see what was going on. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. And today was a, uh, we, you know, we're going to have to check in about FIFA, right? Because yeah, obviously we're now going to the final Where's on Sam Sunday. At? Where's Sam at? Sam has been disappearing since Brazil went home. He went home. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. And I, I mean, I really can't talk a lot of smack because my team home went home before his. But anyway, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm still I'm still just glad it's not Brazil. Anyway, glad to be here. Glad, glad, glad. Mm-hmm. Is Kevin with us? We got some folks in the I'm studio with here. us. You know, I'm we were talking here. about these folks yesterday when we were on the air because mm. we were saying, hey, get ready make your calls get your questions because this is a what is it what did we say it's um it's a no what's it called when you it's a non-billable hour law your time i thought you were gonna say something like wrestling wednesday with your warrior (laughs) (laughs) that was speech impediment wednesday body slam your lawyer (laughs) (laughs) you guys are killing me i'm choking on myself anyway so, yes, we got the folks from Cruz and Pescare. We have uh, Brian Cruz and uh, Robin with him. Mike. <laughs> oh, Robin. <laughs> as in like Batman and Robin, Robin not as in like on. your girl Robin. Robin. Yeah, come on, come on. Daddy Dang. to be Mike. <laughs> you got to understand, Batman is my all-time favorite hero. Like, who uh, grows okay, up and okay, wants to be Robin? <laughs> uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Robin was actually pretty amazing. He dies no, say twice. Nightwing. Say Nightwing. He dies twice. Uh, you can say Nightwing. <laughs> Nightwing is cool. Nightwing is straight. That was yeah. a good cartoon. Or or red a red hood. And I gotta say, That's I was right. over at the offices of Cruz and Pascara today, and uh, Becky didn't realize that you taught the daddy class too, Kevin. Oh. And so she's like, Mike, do you know that Kevin? She should have. I, that's one of the main things I taught her. So Mike is coming to take daddy two, class. Two from years ago. Oh, no. It's going Mike down, man. Mike from Cruz and Pascara is coming to take daddy class. I, oh, I should have been there man. yesterday, but I had a thing. I had to see a guy about I had a horse. A thing. Oh, so, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know yeah, I get a lot of that. I had a guy who came <laughs> from Texas uh, to class yesterday, and he said, well, Obviously, I'm not able to get out of this anymore. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. See? It, See? She actually drove there with him and sat in the cafeteria while we did the class at Winnie Palmer Hospital. He and came from Texas for no, this? No, no. Like, they moved here. But <laughs> oh, he was, okay. He was from Texas. It's like, I called him Big Tex the whole class. I'm very... It's, class is not politically correct whatsoever. <laughs> Big Tex. <laughs> Those are Mike's kind of classes. <laughs> so, That's it. I, I called him Big Tex. He had boots on, and he was really tall, and he loved... Dallas Cowboys. Uh, I don't know why, uh, but <laughs> <laughs> definitely not the team they used to be. Uh, as Deion Sanders and Emmett Smith. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we were talking about uh, guys reasoning why they go to the class, and a lot of them. I would say about sixty percent are because she said so. Uh, then the other part is, well, she's sitting in the cafeteria is what Big Tech said. <laughs> and he just kept on going with jokes all night long. It was really it, we had a great time. Um, but it's all about, you know, taking care of the babies and doing little stuff here and there and finding out what you got to do in life to, you know, some of those emotions that guys don't speak about, um, uh, because we don't know we're supposed to, uh, because it gets harbored behind. Uh, and it's, it's a life tradition. Uh, we do it all the time when it comes to women, you know, girls get, you know, pink stuff and they get to take care of little baby dolls and they get to play mommy and daddy and they play house and they play Barbie doll and Barbie has Ken. And then you get her, your daughter, a little miniature kitchen. You get her miniature vacuum. And I, you, I had wrestlers. And then boys, <laughs> you do this thing where you like, you buy them, you know, blue stuff and you get them trucks and skateboards and they break stuff and they get a little bit older and they say, Hey dad, I want to make some extra money. You say cut grass or pull some weeds or go and mow the neighbor's lawn or do something like that or wash cars. Right. Little girls, what do they do? They want to make extra money before they can have a real job. They Baby go city. and they Bake sit. Oh, okay. Bake sale, Bake babysit, sale. you know, make lemonade, sit in a corner. You know, he these said things. kitchen. I was- <laughs> That's what people buy, That's a miniature kitchen. I refuse to buy that for my I daughter. Will buy, I will oh. stop buying a bake <laughs> but, sale anytime. But the thing is, is that men are born to bring home the money. 
and women are born to be involved in the family. And that is where the backside of our subconscious doesn't allow us to realize that men, we need to learn how to take care of our child Absolutely. as well as bring home the bacon. And then women are now doing this thing, women power, women are working. There's now stay at home dads happening right now, but mm-hmm. they're switching in to ours, but we're not switching into theirs. And that's where okay. we have the Okay, I like that. That's deep. So, I like that. So, you know, it's a little breakdown. The guys get to talk. We laugh. We joke. We giggle. And, uh, you know, I can't, sometimes a kid poops or pukes on somebody. It, it nice. <laughs> well, nice. Well, nice. before we go to commercial break, also, just so we can do this thing during breakup, it's Phil's birthday today. And as we go out. I just send them nudes. I got it. Open your phone. I was like, is that your thumb? <laughs> hey, and we want to, we're so hey, proud. Hey. As I said on Facebook today, he's my Call favorite my co host on, oh, on the I show. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Oh, oh, where did we get that sign piano? That's actually Nick Happy playing it on the actual thing. <laughs> It sounds like <laughs> Faith playing the piano. Like, <laughs> all my money went to nothing. <laughs> Hey, but we're proud thank, of you. She's going to play like Ray Charles. I'm like, oh, really? Uh, here, take my money. <laughs> no, she plays like she is blind, but <laughs> it doesn't sound like Ray Charles. I, I wow. appreciate you guys. Thank you. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of stings in there. I know. Hey, it's man. a rough night. Ow. Hey, stay right there. We got the Kevin Sutton Show and the crew. Wrestling Wednesdays, cake in the face. We got Cruz and Pascara's attorneys at law. We got Myra with the late point of view. And Myra, she calls herself what? Candidate commissioner, for candidate County. for Orange County Commissioner, District 3. You'll hear more about that. Go to the website, KevinSuttonShow.com, because we got action for you. Stay right there. ESPN. Winner of the prestigious International North American Florida Sports Radio Award. Yeah. I just made that up. I don't even like sports. You're listening to The Kevin Sutton Show on ESPN 580 Orlando. I'm with that guy. Mm-hmm. I'm mad at sports right now. Yeah. I'm mad. Why? It's the boring time of the year. Are you kidding? It's the World Cup. What are you talking uh, about? Yeah, like I said, uh, <laughs> as I go back to something worth saying, uh, if you don't know, Floridians, we will be losing everyone jumping on the 407. They are adding a new area code, mm-hmm. and it will be 689. What? Mm-hmm. I don't even... I don't, see, I, I don't like to actually talk to anybody when my phone rings and it's like some strange error code i'm just like ah, i ain't nobody i need to worry about yeah that google numbers does that all the time so you never know where anyone's coming yeah i have a so i does have this a mean we're at a 407 and 321s yep. 407 is Ugh. out you have too many numbers but who buys a regular house phone anyhow maybe this guy i don't know what guy? Montezzi. So we got Antoine Montezzi Moore on the line. Montezzi is the 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 wrestling theme song king. We had him on the air a few weeks ago for Wrestling Wednesday. Montezzi, what's going on, man? Yo, yo, what's good, man? I'm happy to be on again, man. What's going on with y'all? Happy hey, man, just birthday. keep on sending in those checks, and you can come in anytime <laughs> you want, Dow. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, I, I hear you. I hear you. Did it clear? Some, Did his check clear? Some, some big news for us, buddy. Oh, big news. Oh, I'll get professional. What's going on, Montezzi? How's it going? This is Kevin Sutton. Well, man, you know, I had to call in, man, because I had to give you guys a little gift, man. You know, I Uh-oh. just recently left the studio not too uh, not too long ago, and um, I had some big things going on. So I said, you know what, the Kevin Sutton show, I need to give you guys an exclusive. And, you know, I wasn't able to debut before, but I said, you know what, as soon as this is done, I'm going to send you guys that new age out lost track. So you Uh-oh. guys got the exclusive. The exclusive what? first play. This has never been played anywhere before. I just recorded this. This is the exclusive surprise for you guys and the Kevin Sutton Show fans. I gave you guys that new age outlaws track on the house. You guys are going to love Oh, this. snap. World Uh-oh. premiere of new age outlaws. There's like millions of views in your stuff, Montezzi. That's awesome, man. <laughs> and by the way, happy belated birthday. 
Well, thank you, thank you. I am, um, I am, I am now in the thirties. It is now, uh, it is now time to get my life right and make up for my twenties. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I'm real late because hey. I'm forty. Oh, you forty? <laughs> well, you know, like we said, like we said before, you know, me and my seventy six kids. It's about time I. You got seventy six kids. Them, so. Nick finally got the dump. <laughs> God dog it. And you guys think I'm not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wrestling Wednesdays. I figured it would be able to slip wow. through. Well, Montezzi, we're going to play your song at the end of the show. So if you guys are listening, uh, it'll be added to the end of the podcast. So make sure you guys download that. And uh, the, 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 sh- the the song is clean, right? <laughs> Yes, it is, brother. No cussing on my end. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll just leave that together. They didn't do it. <laughs> okay. You almost said it sounded like you said it. Oh, no, no, no. I got no, cake I'm, in my mouth. I'm clean. I'm I clean. got cake in my mouth and I said it. Sorry. Hold on. And also, Cruz and Pascara <laughs> showed up with cake today, and we're all like, I'm, I'm actually choking because I need water. Now. Right? No, <laughs> we need this milk. This cake is so we rich. We need milk. All right, Montezu, I really, really <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you for debuting your song with us, The New Age Outlaws. And uh, if you guys are listening, just make sure you guys download it. Uh, download our podcast right after this, this show is over. Thanks, Montezzi. Thanks, Montezzi. Much no, love. No problem. No problem. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Peace, man. Hey, um, uh, Phil, what's the theme of his song? The, the New Age Outlaws. Oh, the New Age Outlaws. That's yeah, right. That's yeah, right. He was working on that, too. Yeah, he, he j- just finished it. So we're going to get the world premiere at the end of the show. But, guys, I know it's Wrestling Wednesday. I know we have our lawyers in here. So I'm going to keep wrestling Sure, because I do want to ask Maybe Brian it's wrestling through legal things. I, I do want to ask uh, Brian some some questions for our, our, our next segment. But uh, I wanted to, to to give you guys a discussion here. I was just talking talking with it with Mike a second ago. Has wrestling gotten to a point? Because, Kevin, you, you loved wrestling back in the 80s. Amen. Uh, you know wrestling wasn't as, as extreme as it is now, right? Not as gory. Now, yes, definitely. now are, have we gotten to a point where wrestling now, the guys have – are doing too many crazy things to impress the crowd. Um, is it too much? Because uh, you've seen, you know, our friend Ricochet, you've seen him do crazy things that you never believe a human can do. Right. Yeah. Uh, you've seen crazy things. Hell, it was just the 20th anniversary of uh, Undertaker uh, throwing mankind off the cell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was crazy. That's, and, that's, and, you know, that changed and, uh, everything. And, and just a few days ago uh, in New Japan Pro Wrestling, uh, Hiromu Takahashi broke his neck <clears> from, <throat> a, <clears throat> from a stupid move. This guy's a very young guy. It was a stupid move. The move didn't even look cool, but he went. Uh, he got thrown over his head, and landed on his neck, and broke his neck. Can't oh, control man. that at all. And so, have we gotten to a point to where people want extreme stuff so much that the wrestlers are risking their lives? Um, like, well, I think in all things, the envelope keeps getting pushed because it's like it's like what we were talking about last night with the All Star Games. Yeah. Been there, done that, boring. The dunk contest, you know, all of that. Yeah, yeah. And then when Nick brought up the whole point of hey, let's have them do a throw, like a you skills know, competition, a yeah. skills, and then they hurt their arm, and then boom, they're mm-hmm. done. Mm-hmm. So I think we we've gotten into that era of more, more, more. Like we're not, we don't feel like we have enough. But see, the thing about road wrestling is storytelling. You know what I'm saying? So. So, so there's multiple layers to it. Yeah. And it's like a Publix cake. There's the icing. <laughs> there's the chocolate cake. There's that filling. And then there's the decorations. And some layers are not worth eating. Mm. As I just had a big old chunk of Myers leftover, no icing. That she I try to just eat the icing. It's got less carbs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys are. Uh, so, but when I think about it, it's like there's certain things, aspects of wrestling that I'm, I'm like, in truly love, and I love the side of it where they explain kind of like the wrestlers where you get to go behind the scenes. That stuff is really cool to me. Like mm-hmm. the documentaries. I love, yeah, I love the documentaries. I actually enjoy uh, watching before the the just the Bellas. Mm-hmm. I I did find myself watching a little bit longer when they were doing a lot more with. Um, the divas, Natties with Nat- and the divas, Total divas. Went, yeah, yeah, yeah. like they were following Natty and they were following uh-huh. her. Bo- I like her Natty, husband. yeah, Natty personally. And yeah, they were straight. showing more of like the wrestling, and then uh, the girl I came her, with the redhead. Uh, they were following Becky. her, Be- Becky. Becky Lynch, Becky Lynch. No, 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 no. the no. other one that got kicked out. Oh, oh Eva, 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 Eva Marie. Eva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were following her through the trainings, uh, that specialty training she was doing. Oh, that's right. So with, her, with her husband, right? Her husband was her trainer. You were getting a lot more out of. Like what they were showing of it, but you were seeing wrestling and you were seeing uh, their their personal, personal lives. Life. I right. think the mix of it, where it just went kind of all personal. You. We talked about this last it, week. It kind of loses that effect, and then I look at it, 
and I see wrestling as a whole has done the same thing. It went to, you know, when in the 80s, it was very popular. They had the cartoons. They had the toys like yeah. crazy. And they all kind of moved as one machine. Yeah. And the cartoons led into what was going on on Mondays and what would happen on Sundays. And then it was, you know, everybody kind of talked. The pay-per-views Monday gave Night a War. lot of hype. Monday so, Night War. You know, the, mm-hmm. the hype of the pay-per-views was yeah. amazing because yeah. they advertised. They talked about it. They said it was coming. And, like, people, like, I remember friends, like, man, let's put them together as our money. And your mom might be able to do the pay-per-view <laughs> oh, yeah. for us. I remember doing that. And I, think I miss that, I think pay-per-view days. I th- and you know what's done that, right? You know what's taken that away from it? The network. It's the, the network. network. It's the network. It's I'm, all- not e- I'm not even watching the pay per view live right now you know i'll go in i'm like oh snap that extreme rules is coming up and i'm sitting there going uh uh," and i think they're talking about maybe even doing away with tlc and i'm sitting there going no like how do you do away with tlc are you kidding me i hope not and but it speaks to your question though because it's it's, you know is it really i mean they don't even take chair shots in the head anymore you know because (laughs) (laughs) that that, that i am glad but i think they try and push the bar so much that they are really risking themselves, and well, look what happened with uh, Nikki Bella. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, and she can't do that move anymore. Her no, doctor said you do that, you could probably right. not walk again. And right. are we guilty as fans for, I guess, wanting and needing more? Power I bomb. will yeah. throw. I will throw this out there. The Mega Ramp competition is the most watched X Games competition because of the danger. Yeah, right. Yeah. So we got a caller on the line. Was that? Was that? Was that? So is is that like? That must be our society. And it's it's just it just gets you to that point where people want to see a car wreck. I'm not talking, you know, because my attorney's here. Hopefully, if you get hit in a car accident, you know, slip or fall, you want to call Cruz McCascara, attorney's <laughs> law. But <laughs> people want to see that car wreck. There's nothing that you can do. I mean, literally, people just drive, and you're like, okay, what's going on? Literally, it was like a tap, and the police officer was talking to the guy. But everyone slows down <sighs> and rubbernecks. All the way through, like yeah. if they never seen a car accident before, right? Um, That's popping true, zits right? Are the most watched videos. The lady has her own TV show for popping zits. Doctor Pop, Dr. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Asian you lady. Know, when we <laughs> you guys about, watch that stuff? I, I don't. I, I just, don't. I don't. Even I've seen one, and one was enough. Uh, <laughs> but today, a friend of mine on Facebook who lives in the Tampa area was at a red light. A guy was on his phone texting, watching wrestling. No, and <laughs> hit him in the back. Going very fast. And oh. The car was totaled. You saw the pictures on Yeah, Facebook. no, that car that was That car gone. was totaled. He had just bought a brand new car two weeks ago. Oh. So his car, hopefully he has gap insurance because if not, he's messed he's up. He's in trouble if he doesn't. Yeah. Uh, and it was, right. a, it was a highly priced car. But, you know, what we're talking about is what you're saying. We're Everybody's moving faster than what they're living. Mm. You know, that's where we're at. Look, I mean, look at it, guys. We're July of 2018. Yeah. We just celebrated New Year's. Yeah. You know, it's Mr. just Mr. Brian, crazy. Where, are you, where are you on the, the aspect of, People wanting more of the the action, and it, more than just sitting back. Because you were talking about Hulk Hogan was a, a thing that you used to watch back back in the younger days. And it's like wrestling's kind of evolved. Like, it's changed. But what, what reminds you of those olden days? Of what, what made you want to be involved in that? Did well, you want to be a wrestler? Sp- no, I wasn't into that talent. <laughs> but I liked the Hulk Hogan because you knew something about him. You knew something about his life. He was he was out there. He was colorful, man. He was just it. Yeah. And he was just kind of the man in his day. Um, and, you know, now I think MMA maybe took away a little bit from mm. wrestling. Oh, yeah. So, Whoa, he took it low. Well, for a, that's uh, true. For that's true. I'd, say, I'd say for about seven to eight years, he's right. But yeah. I, th- I think that I think that I, I think that UFC is kind of maybe losing steam now with you know their big names <clears throat> being same. involved with the WWE. You I, know what I mean? I, I and think. I think Vince and Dana finally said, "Listen, if we're going to both be able to survive, because if you look at the ratings are just but, yeah. down across the board." So I think finally they said, "Listen, if we're both going to survive, we got to be able to find some balance, some common ground. Yeah, some common and ground." You are exactly right because. Brock Lesnar is back in the UFC again. That's right, yeah, yeah. It's a wasted fight, man. Come on, yeah. and he's and it's a title fight. He's yeah. a huge guy, man. He's a huge guy. A draw, we already know right. what's gonna happen. Uh, Win, I, dope, it, done. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's, get this, let's get in some legal and questions. And he's part time, so he doesn't have any. Uh, he doesn't have any drug testing. Have a right. part time chance. But stay right there, our caller. Um, we're gonna talk to you when we come back from this commercial break because I'm sure he has something to say, something crazy, Mr. Vinny. Stay right there. Kevin Sutton Show in the crew. Attention. Attention. Kevin Sutton is not who he says he is. Beware at all costs. 
Unless, of course, you're listening to the show right now, then, well, we thank you very much. We love you all. Now, some reason I want to buy insurance. I'm not being racist. I'm just saying that makes me want to buy insurance right now. Why does it make you want to buy insurance? The gecko? Oh. Oh, oh yeah, they do. Sound, oh. They do sound similar. Yeah, might be the same person. <laughs> so real quick, England lost to Croatia today. Yes. yes. But France beat Belgium yesterday. Yes, they did. And so France. the final in the World Cup will be Croatia versus France. Uh huh. I'm for Croatia. Now I called Croatia. Remember this? You did. I called it. Yes. I called it. I called France before this thing started. Yeah, but you just. You just put a name in a hat and pulled it out, okay? And? You have no bases. I don't respect you as a soccer oh enthusiast. Oh, my goodness. Let I never said I was a soccer enthusiast. I know, but you act like you have like something something in this. Something you guys you guys refuse to give Is me credit. Is Phil randomly picking a team any different <clears throat> than picking a team because you're from that place? Like, it's Ooh. both an irrational selection. Oh, it's oh, an irrational oh, emotional selection oh, that has oh. no basis on fact whatsoever. It's Hold on, mister. I love me. Michael Jordan to the day I die. Oh, no, no. I'm just not <laughs> I'm not. No. Ac- I'm not accusing other people. That's <laughs> all. Like, I'm not accusing other no, no, people. No, 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 no. There's no I'm hypocrisy here. I mean, people alone. I don't know. Well, alone. Yes. First of all. You go knocking at some other door. For some are, are you Are you on that, uh, that, that whole thing where people are like, oh, look at all the new Lakers fans? Like, are you <laughs> a part of that? I love all the Cleveland Cavalier LeBron fans. Running their way over to the Lakers right now. <laughs> I think it's a ton of fun. I love LeBron as a player, and I've Boo. always just said, as a player, I'll go where he goes. Yeah. Um, but I'm not like cheering for the team. I'm truly cheering for LeBron Boo. James. So I Boo. mean, it does kind of is kind of fishy is with Magic Johnson. I mean, I really have other Boo. issues against that. But but I'll Magic Johnson was mean to us. I, I, he's, I don't think he's just mean to us. I think he's mean to everybody. Yeah. He was mean to y'all. Yeah, you Bruh. haven't heard the story? No. He, when we were at the All-Star game, let me go uh, ahead and refresh. Ahead. What is this, two years ago? No, no 2012. No, no, no. 2012. Okay. So six okay, years yeah, ago. Six years. Where is he? We were at the All-Stars game. We're sitting there. Uh, you know, we're in the like, long line celebrity area to where get in the all the press is right. and stuff. And, you know, we're hanging out with uh, Dr. J., uh, 50 Cent, oh. Pitbull, no problem. Mary J. Black Kevin standing Hart. right next to me. Kevin Hart. Way shorter than I thought he was. I mean, no, I know he says he's short, you, yeah. but way, way shorter No problem short. getting in the elevator with him as we're going up, you know, down to the court and so forth. Magic Johnson doesn't want anybody in the elevator with him. Literally made everyone wait. Well, that's because he farted in the elevator. Well, that's because he probably <laughs> thought he was going to give out his stuff. Stop <laughs> it. I mean, it was just so rude. Even other NBA players. Was like, Dang. really, dog? Like Dang. and he's like nobody, nobody. I only Whatever. want to be by he's myself. He's like I need my simply health care. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. But- Vinny. Vinny. Yo yo yo! What, what it do, Vinny? man? What it do? What it do? What it do? What you guys doing? Oh, talking wrestling. So did you hear our our quote about? Do you think we are pushing the envelope too much on wrestling? Um, I'm going to tell you this. I- and this is this is going to be totally against what you guys are saying. I don't think so. What? And I'll tell you what. Benny wants listen, more. Hold on. Hold on. Listen. You remember when they took away the curb stomp from yep. uh, Seth Rollins? Yes. Yep. Yes. Yeah, they took it away. Yeah. And, and they took it away for what? Maybe six months. They brought it back, and it's not the same. Okay. Yeah. Ricochet does do some crazy stuff, but it's like they've died. I mean, they've died down a lot of the stuff on mainstream. And then if you look at NXT, NXT is the show where you see all the high flyers, maybe 205 Live. But, uh, I mean, I, I see what you're saying. I, I see that there's, you know, there's some guys that do take it. I mean, just like, you know, over the weekend, the, you know, the G1 special with uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling, those guys over there in New Japan, I think I'm almost all of them, like Kevin Ospreay and all them and Dragon Lee and all them, those guys, they take it way too far. They take it like it's it's a, a life or death situation. Yes. Yeah. Well, and, and, and that's know, they what get happened. paid less, too. That's what happened with Hiromu Takahashi. That's how he broke his neck, because he took a suplex from Dragon Lee, landed right on the top of his head. And and the crazy thing is, he but kept going. What, and, and I tell you, I just read an article about it just uh, just about 10 minutes before I got on the phone with you guys. He's actually okay. Okay, he's, good. Um, and and he's, go, he's, actually, he's actually training to, to come back. No way. Oh, yeah. He's got Are you swear, serious? I swear to you. They make no. a deal with the devil a long, long wow. time ago. Long time ago. That's like, crazy. I, 
to like even be able to walk line. away from that is is insane. Yeah, these guys these guys are nuts. Listen, bro. I got to bring up two topics real quick, man. Before before I, I have to go. Sure. Listen, number one, I don't know if, I don't know if you guys know about this, but did you guys hear about Jonathan Coachman taking taking the credit for WWE getting the uh, one billion dollar uh, sign with Fox? No, oh. no. Jeez, come on. Yeah, you can't take the credit. Story. That took a lot of work, man. Wow. Okay. Okay. I wish Coachman. I was behind that deal. All right, what's your second one? He was on Busted Open. He was on Busted Open this morning because yeah. he's a co-host there. Yeah. And he was telling um, he was telling the other guy that if it wasn't for him and all his work on ESPN, doing all the stories and covering the thing, Fox would have never looked at WWE. First of all, WWE is a, a huge company. So with that, with John the Coachman, with him saying that, WWE doesn't need non John Coachman. No, he, he's no, just, no, no, they not were doing at all. just fine he's without him. Of, <laughs> yes, wow. yes. Um, all right, what's your second, and then the story, second man? thing? Man, listen, the Brock Lesnar thing. Listen, I tell you what, I don't know if you guys know this, but this week's Raw was the lowest rating Raw in history of WWE. Wow. wow. It's I didn't missing. Watch it. Listen, it's missing the title. It's, yes. That's what it's missing. And, and Brock Lesnar, go, listen, that's cool if Brock Lesnar went to UFC and he, he did the promo. But the way he handled himself and the way he talked, listen, dude, I don't care who you are. But as a professional, you have to keep it like professionally, yep. and he did not do that. Like he was just an animal. And what I guess what made me mad was is WWE was supposed to say something on Raw about the title if they're gonna uh, make it make him re- release it or not. They didn't say one word about it. Wow, I feel like they're afraid to 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 say anything bad about Lesnar because they just don't want the negative publicity. It's it's kind of silly because he is he has I the think title Lesnar hostage. And Ronda man. need to go. He definitely has it hostage. Yeah, I think, man, Vinny. Yeah, Vinny, thank you. We got to come get some more, some more lunch over there, man. Let's find some bit of steaks. Yeah, come this week. We'll talk wrestling. All right, brother. Oh man, thank you, I Vinny. need a salad. I don't need no steak. <laughs> yeah, all right, Listen, Vinny. We'll get you a nice big salad. You'll love it. Yes, always. always. All right, Vinny. That's La Spada's, man. Eat there. All right, Vinny. Thank you. All right, man. Yeah. Interesting facts, huh? Another mm, perspective Mr. of wrestling. Vinny, always coming with the all extra. Right, I'm gonna hit Brian with a, a question. This is this is off the top of the head, okay? Brian? Yes, I'm with you. All right, so let's just say I'm driving a car. The car is not my car. Mm. Let's say it's Kevin's car. Preach. I get it hit. It won't be my car. I get hit. Mm-hmm. What happens? What do, what do I do? If it's not my car and I get in an accident, let's say it's not my fault. Let's say it's not my fault. Let's say okay. I get rear-ended. But I'm driving you know, a friend's car. What happens with that? I got you. You just like to give a question that stumped the lawyer but i do have an answer for that all right what you do is the same as any other case is that you know you would have the other guys at fault if he has insurance you go after his insurance by the way folks most people do have some insurance uh if we're in court if we're in court you can assume that there's an insurance company behind him mm-hmm. but uh what do you do you still call the cops and you still go in to see the doctor get checked out and taken care of and often, like Byron and I were just talking about, often people don't even know that they're hurt at the scene. Yeah. And so it's like a day or two later before they start feeling it. And then they go in and get an X-ray or an MRI, and then they see that there's some injury and there's damage there. And they just, the adrenaline was so strong and yeah. everything that they just didn't realize how injured they were. How will this affect Kevin if I'm driving, if I was driving his car and his, I wrecked his car? Tell me. Uh, well, first you shouldn't let Phil drive your car, but that. Oh my goodness. Oh, you can't let oh, a friend use your car. You are responsible, by the way, in Florida, as the owner of a vehicle, you are responsible for what happens. However, if the other guy hit him yes. and he's not at fault, there's no fault on Kevin. Theoretically, his insurance should not go up unless he has a bunch of other claims Okay, from letting other people drive the car and getting in wrecks. So you should be okay. okay. But if it is the friend's fault. Yeah, what oh. happens if, if I got a DUI and I wrecked it? What, DUI? Jeez. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you like... That escalated quickly. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going really down. Oh, okay. Well, that's an interesting. I, actually, can do we have time? Because I want to ask this. So, if I let Kevin borrow my car, you know what happens if if we're married? So the car's in my name. He's my spouse. Is he automatically covered because we're both insured? Or how does that how does that work? That's yeah, a, should a, be on a the stump, same policy, a stump right? twist. A stump twister. No, yeah, you're both covered. You're both covered. If somebody hits you and you're in your car. And or Kevin's driving your car, but you're both in, insured under it. 
or you live in the same household, it's called residence in the same household, most of the, most of the time you're covered, like okay. 99% of the time. So, but that's a good question. A lot of people want to know that, you know. And then, of course, if there's uninsured motorist coverage, if the other guy who hit you doesn't have insurance, Hello. then you can go after your own insurance company. Yeah, we've got more questions. Uh, I do, and we need to talk about a little bit more. And Brian, we're, Brian and I were talking about that. You get in a car accident and you think you're good. Yeah. You know, you're like, I don't need any help. I have met mm-hmm. multiple people recently Happens all who time. regret it. Yeah. I met a oh, yeah. woman this week who said she had a car accident 11 years ago and still suffers from pain today wow. and never did anything about it. All right, let's get into it. Happens all the time. All right. Don't underestimate. Just as soon as you get bumped. Two miles per hour, a hundred <laughs> miles per hour. Just have your trusty cruising Pascara's neck brace. Always keep it with you in the glove box. I pull mine out, put it around my neck, and I fall out the car. And they say, "What happened, sir?" I say, "I don't know. I can't see no more." <laughs> Stay right there. Oh, the you're killing me. Show. Oh, you're killing me. Who gives out koozies? You need to give out neck braces. I'm a marketing genius, cruising Pascara. Stay I right there. I for law yours. <laughs> I for law yours. You're listening to The Kevin Sutton Show. Your number one spot for sports entertainment. (laughs) What, this is a sports show? A sports show on ESPN? I've heard the show. It sounds like Nick dumped me for saying that. Did you dump that guy? He didn't actually say it. Ah, same thing. Kevin, I got to send you all of them that he... Uh... I thought he said this is a sport. Sure. A sport. <laughs> like we're having a sport of tea. Sport. Sport. I sport. need to get his Facebook information so I can send him angry texts. <laughs> so you can fire him. <laughs> That's what Kevin likes to do. He likes to fire the people. So we were here with our friends of Cruz and Pascara, Michael Cruz. We're always excited when he comes into the studio. And Mike, Mike always uh, keeps us on our toes. Is he here? Of course I'm He's here. Still okay. here. He's in the back. All right. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. There it is. Hey, you guys didn't know, this is, it, it is my birthday, but this is actually one year anniversary of my accident that I had last year. You, no really? kidding. Yes, you I got, got an accident just before your birthday? On my birthday. Was it on your birthday? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you remember it for the rest of your life. It was It was on my birthday. And, and now you're rich. You own the station. <laughs> and, and when I got him his settlement, it was his best birthday present. <laughs> yes. Yes, that yeah. is true. You Although need to get I, I one of those billboards, you. You right? Need, you need to get bill, one no, of those no. billboards. <laughs> Cruz and Pascara got me $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That'll bring, that'll bring everybody. <laughs> that would be awesome, actually. You need to I, act I would call more that. hurt. Yeah. I would call just be like, really? Yeah. Yeah. No, people. People will call because they'll think you messed a zero. You know? <laughs> That's crazy. Well, you know, you know why we don't do that, right? Because most of our clients want us to keep their business private. Yeah, so we respect that. And keep yes, it I'm still looking it's for that true. lady that said Me she won too. like four million dollars. Like, uh, where's she at? Is she yeah. in Orlando? Yeah, think about it. Everybody and their cousin. You want to adopt your, somebody? Your best friends. They want uh-huh. they want to borrow money from you yeah, as soon yeah. as they see that. You know, so and so got me. You know, mm-hmm. five hundred thousand dollars. Well, I have a. Uh, a, a bill that I can't pay, so I'm gonna go borrow money from you because you got all this money now. Yeah. And the other thing you don't know from those billboards is if if they got five hundred thousand, was their case worth a million, and they just settled short. So, Ooh. Right. Because we talk about mm. Cruz and Pascara. They do. Gift. And they lose they the do free right? case evaluation. Remember, we talk about yeah, you got yeah, a yeah. lawyer already on hand. And you just feel like you're not getting a return call. You get you a just, second opinion with everything else in life. Why not Absolutely. with your lawyer? Exactly. Yeah. And that's a great point. So they got you 500000 but you could have gotten a million. Yeah. And uh, today I was actually at my doctor because there were some issues that I think uh, have come up with, with myself. So I actually printed out my stuff, and I'm going to be giving it to Brian. So hopefully uh, if there's something, hey, just have Brian take a look at it. You know, just just do it. So, I mean, this could be nothing, you know? I got to tell you. Happy to do it. Brian talks about we work hard. This guy is never around. He's always on the road somewhere helping somebody. I called. I'm like, Brian, Brian, Brian. And then he thinks it's the vibrating of his phone. It's just me calling. (laughs) And then he's like, I'm doing something important. Like, I'm in court right now. Like, uh, I'm going to drop you as my attorney then. No. (laughs) No, no, no. My case is the most important case of all cases. 
Kevin, <laughs> Kevin just has questions. You know, if I fall on the job, trust and me, I own when the company, I get hurt or if I ever get hurt and still can live and walk and breathe, like I, I don't want to give anything away, uh, I'll lose a finger. Um, but <laughs> if it ever comes up, you are my first call. Mm. He won't even call me. He'll be like, "Oh, Brian, can you call Myron and tell her I got an accident?" <laughs> I, I got him on. I'm on speed dial on his phone. Last okay. time I got ripped off when I got hit, and I let it go. But yeah. I will never let it go ever again. But you know what? In all honesty, you joke about that. But Kevin and I were in an accident the day we got back from our honeymoon, almost 17 years ago, and he did not follow through with his I therapy. Couldn't. I couldn't. I had to go to work. Mm. And it's big but, difference. But our attorney actually pushed us to settle down low, mm. settle really low. And um, it's like you can't go to a chiropractor both. visitation. I'm like, look, I have to feed my family. I'm the only one working right now. But so it was. I'm not at work. I ain't making no money. But the whole point is, you still have pain today. Yeah. Oh, well, it, it's never gone away. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so when we talk about these, we and then always, when I got T bone. By the, the crazy old guy coming out of the Waffle House, literally T bone. And I moved three lanes to avoid him. And he Col kept on coming. Colonial? Boom. Uh, Sand Lake. Sand Lake, uh, okay. right by the airport. The airport, yeah. Okay. Mm. Coming out of the Waffle House from the airport. I T bone gotcha. my truck. My truck never acted right after that. Wow. It was all. And you also had pain again. And we did not seek a lawyer. Well, that's very common. Like when people have an accident, they don't realize how hurt they are. Because at the scene, for example, you think you're okay. In fact, a lot of times people go, oh, I'm fine. They'll, the police will ask them or somebody else will ask them. And they'll go, oh, yeah, I'm fine. And then they go home that night after the get, after the accident, get up the next morning, and they can't move. Or, you know, they're really, really sore and tight. Or a day or two later, it's very, very common. This is something because, you know, you, you have your adrenaline pumping when you've been in an accident. And you're not really thinking about yourself. You're thinking about how your car just got demolished. How mm -hmm. you you, get, you know you're not going to be able to drive to it. Yeah. How you're going to get to work? You know what's going to happen? The one thing that uh, we do is we work with our clients to make sure that if they're going to miss time from work, they get paid some uh, lost wages and get their medical bills oh. covered if we can. And uh, that's under your PIP policy. And then you know, so in other words, somebody like Kevin was just talking about, I have to go to work. I have to go to work. Yes, uh, but there are you know, the policy will provide, if you have insurance on your hmm. car, it will provide some loss. I didn't wages. have you in my phone back then. Yeah. <laughs> you got to have your lawyer on speed dial, especially. And, and I got to tell you number. one last thing I want to say, Brian, before I know we got to wrap up the end of the show is just because you know someone, you really need to seek a lawyer who specializes in this. Like Cruz and mm -hmm. Pascara, how many years have you guys been doing this? I've been doing this uh, 34 years, almost 35 Longer years Longer than Phil has been on this earth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And experience hmm. matters, like me running for county experience commission. Experience matters. Okay, um, my own in, in this close point. But you really, guys, it's being we. One of the mistakes we made, and we're not going to mention any names. We went with a lawyer who was not as qualified and experienced. And I do feel like to this day that we did not get what we were due. Oh, I wish I'd have been there for you. I we wish, wish I'd that known too. you back then. Us too. We would have probably be rich. On a billboard. <laughs> but, <laughs> but really, guys, you know, you need to protect yourself. This is all we're talking about is protecting yourself, protecting your interests. You have kids. You have a family. These are very important things that can affect your future and um, your ability to do things. So Absolutely. if you guys ever have a question, you guys know you can always talk to us about Cruz and Pascara. Offices downtown Orlando, 407-841-0200. And you guys always know you're welcome to call us because we're happy to do the introduction. That's how proud we are to call these folks our friends. That's right. Oh, it's great. Thank you. Good dang right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, mm. anyways, we're going to have to, I know we're wrapping up, but tomorrow we will have yes. to get into this more FIFA talk. Yeah, yeah. FIFA talk. The game's on the, Sunday, right? The soccer yes. players coming out of the cave, they just got found. Like, and, I mean, that, uh, come and on. Also, There's so much going on. I, I will not forget that comment that Nick said, so I'll pick that up tomorrow, okay? <laughs> you mean the truth I dropped? No! Oh. I, I, okay, you know, I'm, I don't even have time to get the truth. <laughs> I know, I've, have, I've only got 30 seconds. I need to have Nick like, come to the house because he's just only shut Meyer up. Here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Stay oh right there, God, guys. God. Love you. ESPN yeah. 580 Orlando. Always with the hits. Boom, baby. KevinSuttonShow.com.